The octopus is one of the more intelligent and diverse of all ocean invertebrates. And to me, they are a true wonder of evolution and adaptation. They are solitary animals, but can occasionally be seen with an entourage of various reef fish who are interested in the octopus's hunt for food. Mainly, they are waiting for some prey to escape the octopus, but it has been noted that they may also help the octopus locate prey and drive it into their surging arms. And these are arms, not tentacles, which only have suckers at the very tips. Octopus do have excellent vision and sense of touch, and typically they use their arms to catch their prey. Then they inject paralyzing saliva into the flesh to soften it. They probe the intricate corals with their arms and blanket cover it with their extended body to ensure nothing can escape. Octopuses are invertebrates. They don't have any bones in their body except for a parrot-like beak used for cracking the shells of their prey. They have special cells known as chromatophores, which help octopus to change their skin shape and color to mimic the appearance of their surroundings. They often change color to reflect their mood or as a mechanism for thwarting away predators. They may turn white if they are afraid or red if they are angry. They will darken areas around their web, arms and suckers and their eyes to get more threatening appearance to scare away predators. Octopus have three hearts but do not live all that long, with a maximum time of around five years. Octopuses do not live to see their new generations, and shortly after the mating season, the males die within a few weeks, and the females live for the next three months until the eggs hatch. During these three months, the females do not eat, and eventually die of starvation. After hatching, the newborn octopus float with and feed on plankton for 45 to 60 days, and then they swim back to the ocean bed and begin a new generation.